In this video, we're going to get more granular into the application ID uh, and look at exactly how we can fine tune this to work with the different environments uh, that we might have for our organization. So to do that, we're going to go ahead and we're going to start off by jumping into our Palo Alto. Uh, here we have our security rules. This The highlighted one here is permit private to internet access. And when we look at the applications, it's our basic DNS, SSL, and web browsing. Now, if we jump onto a machine that is on that network, right here, uh, we can see that we can start browsing most of the internet. Uh, we're currently on msn.com. We can go to Yahoo. Uh, that opens up. We can even go to my own web page uh, at go.com, and it will open right up. And so we can see that we are literally just browsing the internet. Uh, it's exactly what we expected. But Palo Altos can get a whole lot more granular than that. For instance, when we look at our objects for our app applications, and we can start searching up here in the search bar, we can filter out, for instance, Google. Now, when we filter out Google, we can start seeing down here at the bottom, that there is a Google Cloud Console, Google Storage, Google Expeditions, and as we keep scrolling down, there's Gmail, uh, Google Finance, Google Cloud Storage, Docs, Desktop, uh, Google Keep, Google Lively. There is a ton of Google apps. And all of these, or one of the most common ones that comes down to this uh, is, actually before I click on that, if we click on these, let's go ahead and click on Google Hangouts here. Oh, of course that has no dependencies. Um, there we go, Google Docs should have it. Maybe not. Uh, most of these are focused on what's called Google Base. And I just saw it. There we go, Google Base. Uh, Google Base is a base uh, application that is used by a lot of Google resources. And I want to highlight this one because of some of the things that are in this configuration here. Uh, the first thing to mention is that there are some uh, is depends on. Now, currently there are no depends on, but basically if there was an item here in depends on, for instance, uh, DNS, then that basically would say if in order for Google base to work, you also have to explicitly permit DNS to work in this environment. Now it's not actually listed uh, for Google base to work. So Google base will work without DNS. Uh, however, uh, I know from practice, if we don't allow DNS, we can't find Google. Uh, so even though it doesn't specifically say here, uh, we will have to add that. Uh, the key point to take away here is that when something is depends on, that is something that you as the administrator have to explicitly put in uh, to the Palo Alto configuration and include to permit. There's then also some implicit uses, which means you as the administrator don't need to explicitly add these. They will be implicitly added. And we can see here, well, implicitly included is SSL and web browsing. What that means is when I hit a web page or an application that utilizes Google Base, it will implicitly allow SSL and web browsing in my environment. Uh, so that's really great. That allows me to automatically include these additional uh, technologies that I may not want otherwise, uh, but only when I hit this Google Base application are these guys permitted implicitly. If I want to use SSL and web browsing anywhere else, anywhere that is not Google or specifically Google base, then I have to explicitly add in those other items. Now, while we're talking about Google base, Google base is actually the base of a lot of technologies. Just because I allow that doesn't mean that I'm allowing everything else. Uh, for instance, there's tons of other Google applications, Google Buzz, for instance. And so what I can do is when I look in here, uh, it depends on Google Base to work. So I would have to explicitly allow Google Base for Google Buzz to work. However, and this is where the fun comes, 
if I allow Google Base. So I allow Google Base. However, I do not allow, I deny or just simply do not allow Google Buzz, then that means base will work, but buzz will not. So I can get very, very granular, even though this is all Google. This is all goes to google.com or gmail.com or whatever. Um, it is actually looks at the application itself, the content of the application in order to determine what it is and whether it is allowed or denied. So for example, uh, let's go ahead and let's configure that as a policy. So what I should be able to do at this point is go ahead and go into policies and let's modify our existing policy in order to allow Google base, but nothing else. And we'll see exactly how this works out. So permit private to internet. I'm going to go ahead and modify that. And under applications, we'll see we have our three applications. We have our uh, DNS, SSL, and web browsing. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna kill the SSL and the web browsing. I'm gonna keep DNS, and then I'm gonna add in Google-Base. Uh, I'm keeping DNS simply because DNS is a core component of the internet, and I won't be able to browse to Google if DNS isn't included. Uh, Google Base uh, automatically includes SSL and web browsing, so I don't actually need that if all I want is for people to browse the inner, uh, to search on Google. So in order to delete the SSL and web browsing, I'm gonna check these boxes here on the left and then say delete. That removes them right out. I then say add and go ahead and start typing in Google Base. Check it off the list there, say okay, and commit these changes. So when this commit is done, I will then be allowed to browse specifically to Google, but in theory, nowhere else, because web browsing and uh, SSL is implicitly uh, included with Google Base, which I've allowed, but not included anywhere else. All right, so now if I go back to my client and we go ahead and we open up a web browser, it's going to want to start off by going to msn.com and it can't. If I try to go to yahoo.com, which I was able to do just a few seconds ago, it can't because we removed the, our SSL and our web browsing rule or applications. However, if I go to google.com, it immediately pops right up. Because I included Google Base, which allows for this search feature. So now I can go ahead and I can start searching for Palo Alto or any other uh, component in here. Google Base implicitly allows web browsing and SSL. So I have said I want Google to work and therefore these dependencies come in. If I click on any of these links, however, for instance, for the Palo Alto networks, if I click on that, I get a page cannot be displayed because at this point we're web browsing outside of Google base. If I go back to Google, for instance, uh, there are various applications I can use here. Uh, let's try Google maps. Nothing. Google maps is above and beyond the Google base. So if I go back, let's try a different app, uh, mail, let's go to Gmail, nothing. Google, uh, Gmail is above and beyond all those other, or above and beyond Google Base. So this allows me to get very, very granular. Even though Google Maps is at maps.google.com, I'm able to specifically say, I don't want maps.google.com, I only want google.com. Going back to our system here, I could actually be a little bit more permissive in here. For instance, I could add in some additional applications. Uh, let's try, well, let's see if Google Maps is one of them. There we go. Let's go ahead and add that application and commit it. And as soon as that commit is done, I should be able to go back to the web page I was just at and start reviewing the Google Maps requirements or start viewing items on Google Maps. Now I say that, 
but I didn't actually look to see what requirements were for Google Maps. So I'm gonna click on that very quickly. Under objects, there we go. Google Maps. I'm gonna see if there's any other implicitly or explicitly required dependencies. Uh, it depends on Google Base, perfect. I have Google Base in there. I've already added that explicitly. So now I can go ahead and go back to my web browser. Uh, I'm still here. I'm still in the web browser. I haven't moved. Uh, at this point, I should just be able to click on Maps. And Maps goes right through. It finds the city of Palo Alto. And somewhere in there is the Palo Alto headquarters. So there we have it. The... Uh, the application use of app IDs, we can start becoming as granular or not as we possibly want. Maybe we want people to start using Facebook. Maybe part of their job is to use Facebook, but you don't want them to use Facebook chat. Well, by allowing Facebook or Facebook base, uh, that allows them to get into Facebook, but not use Facebook chat. Uh, Facebook file sharing, we maybe don't want them to have. Facebook mail, Facebook video, or Facebook voice. You can then start uh, identifying exactly which aspects of Facebook you want them to use. Uh, same thing with Google, same thing with Microsoft. Uh, all of these different websites, they all have different application IDs and therefore can be allowed or denied based on our desires.